here we're saying translating the graph of an exponential function. So they want me, they want me to move this function here. Oops. To graph this function here. Okay. And so here you definitely need to know your translating stuff. Okay. So if you're adding or subtracting up in the exponent, that's going to move it left or right. Okay. If you're adding a number, it's going to move it to the left. If you're subtracting a number, it's going to move it to the right. This is for the exponent. Okay. Now, outside the basic function, so the constant that's just on the side, that's going to move it up or down. And if it's a plus a number, it'll move it up. And if it's minus a number, it'll move it down. Okay. And so then you need to just grab this with the icon and then slide it over wherever it needs to be slid. Okay. And so when you grab it, it's going to automatically move the whole thing, including the asymptote. For mine, I need to be shifting it to the left one unit. And then I also need to be shifting it down three units. So then I will be, that will move this down one, two, three. So the new asymptote will be here. And then it's I take this point here, the one where it says uh, 0, 1, and I think that's the one that the computer takes too. So when you go to graph it, it's automatically going to like put a circle around this, and this is what you're sliding around to where it needs to go. Okay. So I'm going to take that point there, and I'm going to move it down 1, 2, 3, and then I'm going to move it to the left 1. So now that point is here, and then because I'm using the computer, it's automatically going to draw the rest of the function for me. I don't have to worry about whether these points are all aligned the way they should be or not. Okay. It'll move the whole thing for me. Now, similarly for this one, um, that's the basic graph. So the exponent, they are minusing from the exponent. So that means I'm going to go to the right three units. And then the constant is plus. So that means I'm going to be going up four units. So if I grab it and I move it one, two, three, four, it's going to automatically put the asymptote there when I slide it up four. But I'm going to take this point right here and that's what I'm going to move up one, two, three, four, and over one, two, three. And then if I graph it, it's just going to be graphed like that. It'll automatically graph it for me. I don't have to worry about just dragging and dropping. Okay. 